My name is Nicole Newhouse. I am the High Pressure Gas Manager here at AY McDonald. Today we are going to do a video that demonstrates the bubble point pressure test. Natural gas pressure is usually measured in PSI, better known as pounds per square inch. This is an example of one pound of gas pressure moving one pound square inch. The term water column is used to measure low gas pressure, such as gas flowing into a residential home. One pound of pressure equals 27.706 inches of water column pressure. It is common to round to 28 inches of water column pressure. On average, a residential home receives around seven water column inches, amounting to a quarter pound of PSI. We will use the bubble point pressure test to illustrate less than a pound of pressure. We have filled a column with water and have measured out inches alongside the column. Now we will place the pressure pipe into the column of water. Our first measurement will show one pound of pressure happening at 28 inches of water depth. You will see bubbles occur when you first place the gas tubing into the column. As you move this pipe down, you will see the bubbles decrease by the inch. When you reach the 28 inch mark, the bubbles will stop, meaning the depth of 28 inches is enough pressure to stop one pound of pressure. To illustrate the amount of gas pressure allowed into a residential home, we will adjust the regulator and reduce the pressure down to 7 inches of water column. With the pressure being reduced, we will now ascend the gas pressure pipe slowly until we see bubbles appear. Bubbles will not appear until we reach the 7 inch mark and above. You are now witnessing a quarter pound of PSI, also referred to as 7 inches of water column pressure. This has been the Bubble Point Pressure Test. I'm Nicole Newhouse, thanks for joining us. Still have questions? Feel free to give us a call at 1-800-AY-CARES. Stay connected with us on YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and Pinterest.